Hello everyone, I'm excited to share with you ScoreSight, a OCR tool for reading scoreboards. ScoreSight is available right now for download for free. Just go on scoresight.live and click the download free button and fill in your details, add into your cart. Once you download your software, double click to start it and you will get the main screen. In the ScoreSight main screen, you can select a camera or a video file. You can even select NDI sources if they are detected on your network. I'm going to select a video file because I'm just looking to set up my scoreboard view as if it's live on camera. I go here on the left and I'm going to add the different elements that I need, like the timer and maybe my scores. I can just drag things into place to cover the area. And let's add the shot clock. I can see here that my source is running at about 30 frames per second, updating at about five frames per second, but the video is only updating at about once per second. I can adjust my boxes so that they cover the whole area of the reading. And I can see here in green if I get a correct reading. In yellow or red will be an incorrect reading that is actually not shared with your output. Once I'm happy with my setup of different things that I'm going to read from this scoreboard, I can go ahead and put in a folder in which I want text files to come up for the different readings. Once that is in, I will start getting text files for each one of these readings. Let's head over to OBS and see how that connects over there. In OBS, I have a scene that I want to bring the information to. Let's pick the timer. In this text source, I will select a file and browse for the location of my output file. This is going to start getting the readings from ScoreSight. There's different options here to make sure that your reading is accurate. For things that are updating quite frequently, I would suggest to remove the average smoothing and making sure that the format is correct. In here, I am reading a format that is matching the time that I have here. You can also experiment with other options like auto cropping, skipping similar images if you want to save up on CPU cycles or if you want to rescale or add anything to your output like an ordinal indicator for your periods, for example. You can have a look in your binary view to see that everything looks okay in terms of extracting the characters. You can also use a perspective correction tool called the four corner correction that will allow you to select four corners on the scoreboard and those will automatically correct every frame so that it is rectangular and easier for the OCR to read. So this is ScoreSight. Try the free download and give me any feedback. This works on Mac, Windows, or Linux. Looking forward to seeing you use this tool. Thank you.